me do this. Is that good? You like that? Is that is that something that makes you feel good? Is that, is that good? Okay. Hmm? Wait, why'd it turn green? Well, that was weird. Huh. Why did my phone just flip out? Okay. You flipped out. Chat. You're freaking out. Man. Yeah, somebody said it's a fake wall. I don't think it's a fake wall. I think that's where a... Well, actually, maybe it is a fake Am wall. Am I crazy, or did we not come from this direction? You're, <laughs> You're crazy, man. You mean what? Howard, what? I don't... Weirdo. Okay. Go that way. Go this way. Whoa, there, Bucko. I was just checking for light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird ass rules. I went to therapy? Oh, wait, maybe they were like married. Maybe, th maybe this is a much more involved thing. Maybe they weren't just dating. Okay. Uh. There's something back here. But bro, are you holding the cam? What? How do you mean? You're what? All right. What? Inspect then take a picture. How? How would you not think this is something we need a picture? Take a picture of interesting things as they pop up, but not murder tables. Don't want any pictures of murder tables. That would just make too much sense. Okay, thanks, game. All right, great. He's not a fan of murder tables. Oh, Lord. Careful in the lighthouse, you might take a light stumble. Okay. Maybe should I try focusing the camera? Oh, I did. It, it would not let me focus on it at all. Let me try one more time here. I think I missed a picture. Makes me very sad. I like hold a particular direction. No, I can't. I can't use the camera here. Okay. Then if I try to use the camera in front of the door, it blurs it out and none of the areas I can focus in let me actually focus on the room. It's focusing on the door, not the room behind it. Maybe try the second so arrow. Do have catches us in here? Are so we the only thing we can do down there is L, L. You did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust the door down and get in here. We? 
So maybe we should take care. Probably. Yeah, I feel like Dumet is the kind of dude who loses his shit if you break his rules. Oh, what was your first clue? When he took away our phones like we were kind of teenagers? Huh. Guess we're not totally alone. Shit. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of me. Morello examines more than 15 years of his own research and writing. Morello? Wasn't Morello the name of the guy that was invited, the guest? That was that was the name of the person that was invited here the first time. Oh. This takes me back. I used to carve the hell out of my desk in middle school. Rebel. <laughs> Bro, that looks like an axe. What? Takes me back. What were you talking about? The reticule was green. Extend the monopod. Go, go, gadget monopod. Bloop. Mr. and Mrs. Robert Tall of Silver Spring announced the birth of their daughter, Marilyn, on June 10th at White Oak Hospital. Oh, Mondays. Wait a second. Applause, please. The Mondays. The Monday was the name of the investigator that was that caught the beast of Arkansas. Hey. One sec, y'all. Jerry says, I'm going outside for now. Because I'm a chungus. Chungus. A chungus. <sighs> All right. There's the balcony. Look oh. at this wallpaper. This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. Okay. Looks like Dumet is trying to preserve things. Can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the ghost. Rot. Manny Sherman, born January 1, 1956. Come on. You know all this. What do you want? What's this? Huh. You've been doing your research, haven't you, Special Agent Monday? What are my favorite television programs? Describe my first pet? What were your friends like as a child? What is this? You're taking a survey, you're trying to learn something. Would it kill you to be direct? You wanted to know what inspired me? As if I wasn't an original? Well... Maybe there was one man I found myself a little fascinated by. Holmes. Henry Howard Holmes. Yep. Why? Because 
He was numero uno. America's first. The guy invented the trade. He set the benchmark, you know? Learn your history, Monday. Read a book. You think because I stuck a blade in some people and get off on it, I'm not smart? I, uh, allegedly killed 13 people before you got smart enough to find me. Okay, so we know that Holmes is real. Is the Beast of Old Arkansas house. real? Island beaches with dead fish, animals in the wood. Could be anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell. It's about as real as Arkansas. <laughs> so no. There's gotta be a way through. Am I real? No. No sus. I am not. The only thing we can count on, the only anchor in this reality, is the bongos. That is the only thing we know in our heart of hearts. Be real. Jumping it, pushing it, bopping it. Something normal people do, by the way. <laughs> yes, they yeet it, yeet it forth is what they do. biscuit thoughts on pentiment a super cool game that is not super fun to stream because you have to read the whole thing but it's a uh, pentiment looks very unique looks like a lot of fun and uh, we may return to it in small bits and pieces here and there we'll see i, I haven't decided yet but it seems like the kind of game that's a lot more fun to play than stream. What about Disco Elysium? I loved Disco Elysium. Um, I also waited for the Disco Elysium, uh, what was it, Game of the Year edition or whatever, where they added full voice acting. And I really, really, really hope that they add full voice acting in some way to Pentiment one day. Because then I would play the absolute hell out of it. Score. But yeah, I, th I think Pentiment would be a lot more immersive with voice acting. I, and I do hope they add it one day. Yeah, the robo voice for Penton just wasn't wasn't quite enough for me. Uh, so let's see. We can get up. Can we climb the bookshelf? in there buddy it'll fit just keep working it work mark you okay in there i'll be right back 
is solving rudimentary puzzles with long animation times between them. this content here on Twitch. Yes. Sweet, delicious content. This is a terrible idea that we're doing right now. This is this is just We have no idea where we are, where we're going, or where we could get like this. Balcony. Sure, why not? Let's do it. Got it. Are you gonna make me go all the way back? Hi. Oh, it's one of these puzzles again. Um, goes in keyhole. Oh, that's right. Keys. Whoa. Just come on. It's not that high. My vertigo is saying otherwise. What are you worried about, Miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. No response, stare at wall. Affirmatory greeting, thank you. Yeah. Oh God, it's the ring and necklace from the beginning. Okay, check this out. It's his hat. Who? H. H. Holmes. Somebody you don't touch this. Oh my god, don't Okay! Ha! Okay. Ha! Ah, ah, okay? Got him! I just this fucking thing popped out of nowhere. That was amazing. <laughs> See? What is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. It can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. It did. Hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on, let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. I know Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Did you see his notes? Yeah, I saw them. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the... Oh, wow. Mark confessed he still has feelings for Kate. She turned him down. But I th think that's good. Paige, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you're... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was?
Charlie does seem to think he owns us. He's so damn controlling. I don't let him control me. You Why else sure. do you think we fight so much? You really? Did you know Aaron hasn't been paid in weeks? He told her that learning from him was its own reward. That piece of shit. He has her running around town, picking up his laundry, doing his shopping like he can't do anything for himself. Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana at Entertainment. I guess I thought we'd move on together like a team. Mark, look, this isn't your passion. It's just a job for you until you get your name out there as a photographer. You can't expect... I know. I hate this shitty documentary stuff. Charlie has got a clue about how to frame a shot, let alone tell a story. And get on with it. You're right. Charlie would replace it... It's in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. What a stunning performance. You should give up news and be an actress. I was quite moved by all that. Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Whatever your future plans may be, right now, you work for Lonit Entertainment, and Lonit Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonit employees are professionals, yes? So start acting like it. We all deserve to be murdered. It's fine. Great. Happy? You have a future, and now I don't. That man is a goddamn child, and somehow we all sink to his level. But hey, I got closer to the ex-wife I broke up with. That's good, right? Hey, was that supposed to be like he was sewing? Because that's not how sewing works. Hey guys. My brand. Oh, can sew? I'm, dude, I'm damn good at sewing. I'm an embroiderist. Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. <clears throat> Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Yep. Shouldn't we wait for him? Just poor Mark. Who doesn't show up to their own dinner party? None of you did anything to piss him off, did you? Wow. No, Dad. I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Ah, oh, Mr. Dumet! I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet? Yeah, that dude ain't coming. Wait, what? why? He saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Can't be. You must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. They're in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lonnet plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for sure? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they deliver. This could work to our advantage. How? Well, <laughs> think about it. Not a We're still here, here surrounded by perfect visuals. The plan is still on track. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leap to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet? As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm starting to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lower your voices. Why? He's not here. But that doesn't explain why he's ditched out on us. 
He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you... You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Mm. Oh, God, Shit. Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not helping. Okay, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. If you're dead, you never found your please cigarettes. don't come to me crying. Incorrect. I found an extra special pack of invisible cigarettes. In fact, I'm smoking one right now. See? <laughs> that explains why you're in such a great mood. So what are we doing? <laughs> Charlie and Mark. Womp womp. <laughs> So for your own playthroughs, boys and girls, um, that's what to avoid right there. What to avoid. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. We just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? The plan? In true lawn and entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us, and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. What? <laughs> okay. Well, here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. <sighs> Now, I would like to toast all of you, really. I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work. Oh. Hey, look, we got a little back. <laughs> the team of 10. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested. And finally, to our newest recruit, Erin, we would be lost without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? Thank you all for your hard work. Cheers. Cheers. To us. Mazel tov. What we can get here can take the show to the next level. Sure, if we have time to get it all. Yeah, he totally heard us. Nah, there's no way he'd say all that nice shit if he heard us. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. You brought it up. <sighs> what was that, Kate? Nothing important, just spitballing some ideas. I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. Shouldn't be hard. Um, does anyone else think it's weird? Dumet hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. What do we want to do first, Charles? You're the boss. Thank you. I think it makes sense for us to start in the Don't need to match the, the There's still eyes of the, to the work thing. With, and it's symbolically where things would begin. The issue, I think, with the eyes is that the eyes don't focus. It looks hyper-realistic, so you expect it to look real, but then the problem is the eyes don't focus on something. So it's kind of like whenever they move their head, their eyes just kind of like point in whatever direction their head's looking. So instead of it like looking when they're moving their head and their eyes stay focused, they're just like, like all over the place. So it's like, hello, thank you for joining us for dinner this evening. And it doesn't really... Uh, it doesn't really work. Kind of, def kind of breaks the illusion. Um, in the murder castle, With but sometimes the, the eyes look need to set up a good, and that makes the whole scene. We look can make good. it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Dumet shows up? So it's weird. If he tells us to stop, I'm going to be having a strong word with him. He's put us in this position. All right, everyone, grab what they need, and we'll meet in the lobby. <laughs> It's like there's a... Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No mistakes. Perfection. If he comes back, I don't want him to see us fucking about 
or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, guys? Fantastic. I love to hear that. It's like there's a manual mode and a procedural mode. The procedure looks weird, but manual is actually pretty good. Great. 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 Hello? Guys? Is that you? 